Hi, this is Richie McKay from Liberty University. Uh, when Tommy Kyle asked me to uh, maybe share a, a brief message of how this uh, pandemic that we're all enduring has impacted me and my family, um, I, I just thought, man, when it first happened, uh, we were on the cusp of um, having earned a chance to be in the NCAA tournament of uh, waiting for Selection Sunday in March Madness and there was grave disappointment that we weren't gonna be a part of that and it wasn't gonna happen. But being three and a half weeks removed from that, uh, it's, it's really been a great opportunity uh, for God to reshape perspective. And there's a, a light verse that I have in John 15, five um, that talks about uh, abiding in the vine. And there are so many distractions and lures that lead us away or astray from what's really important in life. Um, I, I just can't help but to think maybe God allowed this so that we could all kind of reshape our perspective and our priorities. And uh, my hope is that we as believers um, can inspire hope in others. Really the only way to endure and rid uh, our, our planet of this virus and people of discouragement and depression is if they have hope. And I hope that we as, as uh, examples can model for them uh, just that recentering and that priority we have in trusting in God. Uh, there's such a big difference between pleasing God and trusting Him. And, and also maybe make sure the relationships that we've been granted uh, that we really prioritize them in a way that honors the opportunity uh, to shepherd or to steward. And uh, I, I hope all of us can uh, do our part in making this world a better place because we will be better for it. And lastly, I would say uh, for me, this is a time to really uh, have that deep sense of gratitude for what we do have and what we have experienced so that when we return to some sense of normalcy uh, that will impact or infuse in so much more of an intentional way that God would get the glory. I pray that everyone stays safe and uh, hope that, uh, that we continue to abide in the vine. Thank you.